From Victoria Kamova's silver-scorned medal toss to Van Gelder's pre-Olympics hangover and banishment, get ready for the most dramatic moments in gymnastics. To start off, let's talk about the silver medal drama at the 2012 London Games. Victoria Kamova, the Russian gymnast, had every intention of winning the women's individual all-around final. And she performed like it too. She danced beautifully, with one of the most perfect floor routines I've ever seen, and wooed every person in the arena. Only, she ended up stepping off the mat on an earlier vault, which took her out of the running for gold, which went to Gabby Douglas instead. Having realized that, Victoria didn't pull back from shedding the most heartbreaking tears as soon as her routine was over. She also ended up winning silver instead of gold, and she was so distraught. She actually took it off as soon as she was off the podium. According to her, she was disappointed in herself for not giving it her all, which is a crazy statement because the gymnast was beautiful on the floor. Fans have since commented that it's probably in Russian nature to aim for gold and nothing else. And the pressure from her team and people could have made her act this way. But hey, a little sadness after losing out on a dream is all right, isn't it? So no hard feelings there, Kamova. Although, I can't say the same for Michaela Moroni, whose text message debacle with her coach made for a super dramatic behind-the-scenes moment in the 2013 World Championships. After winning the gold medal on the vault, she took to Instagram to reveal that she almost didn't win the prize. Why? Because she'd looked at her phone right before her routine. Her coach was the most pissed, asking her who she was texting and why did she have to break a rule like that, only to find out that she'd turned her phone on to read a Bible verse that she'd set on her home screen. Wow. Imagine losing out points for a thing as minor as that. But hey, that's not the only time she's ruffled gymnastic feathers. Y'all remember the Moroni meme, right? In the 2012 Summer Olympics, she failed to reach enough height and fell on her backside, leading to docked points. This caused her to win a silver medal instead of gold, and she didn't hesitate in pouting a little for that while on the podium. But even though it was a very small moment, the picture got captured by a photographer. And soon after, Michaela is not impressed memes started circulating the internet. From Tumblr to BuzzFeed, Instagram to even Maroney's parents' living room, the picture became a global sensation. So at least the games got Michaela the fame she deserved, even if it was for all the wrong reasons. But to be fair, Maroney's meme drama sounds like child's play when you consider other serious moments from games. Like, when you consider the treatment gymnasts go through while training for important matches or the Olympics. Like when Katherine Lyons revealed the coach drama she'd go through, as they'd harass her and hit her for being overweight. And this wasn't when she was an adult. It was back when she was just seven or eight. She says that she'd cry so hard that to keep her quiet, her coaches would shut her inside a cupboard to make sure she'd calm down. This isn't a trivial thing at all. Instead, it's abuse that most gymnasts go through, which leads to lasting impact. Like when Lyons was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder just because of how her coaches used to treat her. But even then, Catherine has gone on to be a world star gymnast, showing her bullies that she's much more than their judgment of her. And hey, at least she never stooped as low as Michaela Skinner in her career, whose Photoshop fail of 2016 forever etched her as a controversial figure in gymnastics history. During that time, she was chosen as a backup gymnast for the USA at the Rio Olympics. This obviously meant that she wasn't in the official team poster, but this rubbed her in all the wrong ways. And instead of taking the high road, she became a nightmare for Gabby Douglas, whose face she replaced with her own and then tweeted it with monkey emojis. Oof. As expected, the whole thing caused a huge uproar and angered all her fans and non-fans alike. This did make her apologize, but no amount of apologies or regrets was going to take back this moment, which etched her name in the Gymnastics Hall of Shame forever. And what's worse is, this wasn't the first time Gabby was targeted. In an interview with Oprah, she said she almost quit the sport because of all the bullying and racism she faced. And this happened in 2016 again, when a media uproar in Rio became the talk of the town, all because Gabby didn't put her hand on her heart during the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. People called her disrespectful and criticized her everywhere, in news articles, blogs, tweets, Instagram, and basically everywhere else. 
But while she had her critics, Gabby also had her supporters. Who said that first, there were bigger things to worry and outrage about, like police brutality and countrywide racism? And secondly, she'd won a gold for her country, which was a super big deal in itself. The gymnast finally responded to all the anger, saying that she respected her country in her heart, but she preferred to stand in attention to show that. She did apologize for hurting people's sentiments, but we all know who came out as the winner in the whole scenario. But I can't say the same for Savannah Vincent, who got caught in some meme drama like Maroney. When pictures of her expressions during her routine went viral during the 2012 Olympics, now, Vincent had been doing trampoline routines ever since she was young. She was a pro in the sport and had made a name for herself in trampoline art, which took her to the World Games too. But hey, she was an athlete, not an expressionist. So obviously, when tumbling on top of the trampoline, she made a few expressions that, let's say, weren't too picturesque. These awkward faces were captured on camera. And then, as things go on the internet, she became a meme known for her awkward expressions in the Olympics. Honestly, how many gymnasts are going to go down like that? Vincent didn't let that affect her, though. And she's gone on to be one of the best gymnasts in her domain. And then there was the Biles controversy from the Artistic Gymnastics World Championships in 2013. This was a few years before she became an international star in 2016's Olympics. So obviously, no one was exactly aware of what a talent she was. In her routine, she took the gold in the floor exercise and silver in the vault and beat Vanessa Ferrari and Carlotta Ferlito from Italy alongside Gabby Douglas. That was a big deal for both gymnasts for sure, but the Italians really weren't happy. Because in the press conference after the routine, they commented that maybe they needed to paint their skin black to be able to win the games. Now, look guys, I get that they were frustrated, but did they have to be racist in their outrage? Sucks, right? But where there's gymnastics, there's drama. Like the great American controversy of the 2012 Olympics that sent shockwaves through the gymnastics world. This situation involved Jordan Weber, a highly talented American gymnast and reigning world champion who found herself at the center of a heartbreaking disqualification. Weber had entered the Olympics as one of the favorites to win the individual all-around title having dominated the gymnastics scene with her exceptional skills and consistency. However, due to the Olympic rules, that allowed only two gymnasts per country to advance to the all-around final. She missed out on an opportunity of a lifetime. Apparently, Ali Reisman and Gabby Douglas had already secured their spots in the championship, and this left Weber the only option to go back home. Many questioned the fairness of the rule, arguing that, as the reigning world champion, the gymnast deserved the opportunity to compete for the prestigious all-around title. But sadly, nothing could be done, and Jordan had no way to move forward for the prize. At least she tried, though. Sadly, I can't say the same for my last gymnast, whose dramatic exit was all because of a silly decision from himself. I'm talking about Van Gelder, whose Olympic hangover became a source of lifelong regret as he was kicked out of the 2016 Rio Olympics. Apparently, the Dutch national team gymnast had gone out for a night of drinking just before the Olympics began. This was obviously a big no-no and was also super out of character for Gelder too. Known as the Lord of the Rings, with a number of gold prizes to his name, he was no stranger to the rules and regulations of the game. But what happened, happened. And once he was found to have broken the rules regarding leaving the team base and alcohol consumption, he was kicked out, and no amount of legal battle could get him back in the competition. And so there you have it. From Van Gelder's pre-Olympics hangover and banishment to Victoria Kamova's silver-scorned medal toss, all the most dramatic moments in gymnastics history.